from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crow. Okay, neighbors, 14 now for the hours. So we had anywhere between a half an inch across eastern Oklahoma to almost two inches uh, from our event over the weekend. That departing storm system is moving on out. We've got a few clouds this morning. Those should continue to thin out. Uh, we'll look for a high day of 56, sunshine, and a cool north breeze. That north wind at around 10, a few gusts near 15. Now, quick update on temperatures. Tomorrow, 62. Wednesday, 63. It'll be cloudy. Thursday is the warmest day. We go back into the lower 70s, very spring-like. It's going to be pretty windy at that point. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, notice it also starts to drop back down. So we're going to see what I think is a pattern change for the second half of this weekend that could linger into next week with cooler or even colder weather. So we're not finished with all that yet. Uh, morning jacket or a coat, you're going to be good to go with sunshine and cool weather this afternoon. Tomorrow morning will be the coldest of the next several mornings. Some of our neighbors will be into the 20s, and the metro will be right at 30, and we'll have pleasant weather. I still think Tuesday is going to be the six-star weather day of the week coming up. Now, Wednesday and Thursday, we have the strong south winds developing ahead of a storm system. Uh, so today, a north wind at 10 to 15. Tomorrow, a much lighter wind, some fog early tomorrow morning, but I think tomorrow's going to be a wonderful day. Wednesday, 15 to 25 mile per hour winds through the middle part of the day. But Wednesday night into Thursday, I've got top end wind speeds at 35, and I might be a little under here. I mean, we could be with some flat out windy weather late Wednesday night into Thursday. And then on Friday and Saturday, the wind speeds start to ease up a little bit. So we have this small little disturbance that will approach the area. Wednesday night and Thursday could bring us a sprinkle or two. But our next chance, I think, of more significant, more impactful precipitation could come late Saturday night into part of Sunday. And that could bring us a chance for some showers and storms. And again, behind that, uh, a cool down would be a possibility. So we're at 39 right now and a north breeze at 9 miles an hour. 40 in Broken Arrow. It's 40 in Catoosa, 39 currently in Pryor. And the temperature in Bixby is at 40. Uh, so we have a mixture of 30s and 40s on the map. Here's the hour-by-hour -hour forecast. Tulsa Metro, 50 at noon. And by 3.30 to 4 o'clock today, we're at 56. I think tonight will drop down pretty quickly into the 40s. So how about highs in your hometown? Let's round up. 60 degrees in McAllister and Savannah today. 56 in Bristow. Sepulpa at 56. 56 in Vanita and 54 in Coffeyville, Kansas. Tomorrow morning will be pretty chilly. We're looking at temperatures tomorrow morning into the upper 20s and the lower 30s. There will be a potential for some fog early tomorrow morning. We may have a little bit even this morning. And then tomorrow afternoon, High temperatures will be this mixture of upper 50s and lower 60s with a uh, mostly light wind. So the middle part of the week, the winds are coming up Wednesday and Thursday. A little shower is a possibility early Thursday, but not very likely. Friday at 67, and then over the weekend, showers and potentially some thunder late Saturday night and Sunday. Temperatures will drop on Sunday and could keep dropping for a little bit more early next week.